Hi and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. Good morning. It's fantastic to have you back with us for another crypto podcast. Now, we've got lots of news to dig into. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. And don't forget to jump in our Discord. Link is in the description of this video. Okay, let's get down to the desktop. So the first one that I want to cover off is crypto exchange SushiSwap approves restructuring and will create free firms for DAO. So the development of the decentralized autonomous organization will be managed by free organizations which will be based in Panama and the Cayman Islands. So look, this is a really interesting update that I think people should dig into. Now, I will link this into the um, Discord for you to read through at your leisure. So really big deal. Moving on, we've got Singapore. Central Bank proposes measures on crypto trading and stablecoin. Uh, so look, this is another really interesting one. They're looking to propose new regulatory measures on crypto trading and stablecoins in a bid to reduce the risk uh, of harm to consumers. And, and obviously a lot of this is because the market is massively volatile. Um, I th think they're really just taking an opportunity uh, to, to regulate this market because it's not like the other markets uh, and financial instruments aren't just as um, volatile at the moment. So maybe just taking an opportunity uh, and seizing the moment. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. So Crypto market sees largest short liquidations within the last 15 months. Uh, EFA leads token surge. So crypto exchange FTX saw some $500 million in liquidations alone, uh, a larger than usual figure. Now, what I would say, Nick and myself have been calling it out an, an awful lot recently. This market just looks absolutely filthy. It's a... Uh, you know, rampant the amount of, I, I guess, um, manipulation that we're seeing in the market. Um, it's just crazy. So look, just um, be very, very careful if you're trading, um, you know, one to, to, to be aware of uh, lots and lots of liquidations. And uh, we're seeing this in the charts with all the, the volatility. And this looks like it's being, you know, uh, I guess, manipulated by market makers, potentially. A majority of the US voters want more crypto regulation, according to polls. Uh, the results indicate more voters want to see lawmakers treat cryptocurrency as a serious and valid part of the economy than as a mechanism for fraud and other crimes. And, you know, I'm not surprised, right, because... Let's be honest, I would say fine art is probably uh, one that, you know, these regulators should probably go after when you consider how much money is laundered through, um, you know, fine art uh, from crime. Anyway, moving on, we've got Vietnam Prime Minister um, says country needs to regulate crypto. Lawmakers have been uh, pursuing the Prime Minister for clarification on his stance towards virtual assets, which aren't recognised as property yet. So uh, again, this is uh, looking like something very, very interesting that we should be keeping an eye on. What I am seeing is regulations, regulations, regulations. This is what we want. And uh, I think we're going to get it shortly. I really do. I think we're going to see uh, the SEC and Ripple lawsuit come to an end, whether that is a kind closed door settlement um, or whether that is uh, a straight out victory for Ripple is yet to be seen. But with all of that said, I think that will happen. And then I think shortly after we're going to see, you know, some regulations put in. And I do think that it's going to be clunky to start off with and that, you know, there's going to be different iterations of it as, you know, things improve over time. If you enjoyed today's video, do mash up that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care and I will catch you in the next one.